Good evening, everyone. We are live and um, direct on um, Atom River of Life, RCCG. And um, I would like to welcome us to the first vigil in the month of April, which is the first month in the second quarter of 2024. And I would like to thank our Father and Mother in the Lord for this um, privilege and the platform. And tonight we will we'll be discussing the topic, um, a father, heavens, earth, get to work. And the text um, will be taken from Ezekiel chapter one, um, verse one, which says in my 30th year, in the fourth month on the fifth day, and today happens to be the 5th of April, um, while I was among the exiles by the K um, Kiba River, the heavens were opened and I saw visions of, um, of God. And this is um, a write-up by uh, the prophet um, Ezekiel. And the second text will be taken from um, Job, the book of Job, chapter 38, from um, verse 12 to 14. And it says, I've, and have you ever ordered the morning? Get up. I'm reading from the message um, um, version of the Bible. It says, get up, told done, get to work so you could seize earth like a blanket and shake out the wicked like um, cockroaches. And so, have Heavenly Father, we thank you. We appreciate you. We give you all, all praise. We honor you, Daddy. We adore you for everything that you, God, has done. We thank you for another privilege. And we thank you for the grace to be here today. Holy Spirit, we ask, oh God, that you will take over. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, have your way, Daddy. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for another grace to gather tonight. Daddy, we honor you. We adore you. Daddy, we give you all the glory. We thank you. We do not take anything for granted. We thank you for the gift of life. Let us begin to thank God. Let us begin to appreciate the Most High God. Let us thank him for the new month. Father, we thank you. We appreciate you for this new month. That is the month of April. That is, we do not take anything for granted. Heavenly Father, we praise your holy name. Daddy, we honor you. We adore you. Daddy, we thank you for preservation of our lives. We thank you. Daddy, for another opportunity to commune at your feet. We thank you, Holy Spirit. King of all flesh, we appreciate you. Daddy, have your way, oh God, in Jesus' name. Daddy, accept all praise, accept all honor, accept all adoration, oh God. In Jesus' matchless name, we have prayed. Amen. Brethren, I want us to um, ask for forgiveness of our sins because it's said in his word that for all are sinned and falling short of the glory of God. And if we say that we are not sinners, then we lie and the truth is not in us. So that our prayers may not be in that tonight because we are going to be commanding the heavens and the earth to yield this increase to us in this second quarter. And we do not want nothing to end us. So brethren, I want us to open our hearts now to God and ask God for forgiveness of our sins, for purification and sanctification of our souls. Father, Lord God Almighty, I come before your throne of grace. Daddy, I ask for mercy as a sinner. Lord, I commit, I, I confess my sins before you. That the Lord, in any way that I've sinned against you, Holy Spirit, in any way, that I've sinned against you in my thoughts, in my words, in my deed, in my action. That is through negligence, through weakness, through my own deliberate fault in ways that I've named the name of Christ. But I've not acknowledged you in my ways. Daddy, please have mercy. Forgive me, oh God, Lord, I confess before you. Daddy, have mercy. Forgive me. Cleanse me with the precious blood of Jesus. Cleanse me with the precious blood of Jesus. Cleanse me, oh God. Cleanse us to night, oh God, even as we gather. Daddy, cleanse us, oh God. Don't let our prayers be an abomination to you. Daddy, Lord, have mercy. Cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Cleanse us, oh God. Forgive our sins, oh God, that our prayers may be acceptable in your sight. In Jesus' matchless name, we have prayed. Amen. Brethren, one more time, I want us to thank God because of a truth God has been 
you know, God has been good to us. He has been so faithful to us. A lot of people are gone and dead. It's not like we are better off. We are not better off than them, but we are alive. We are here. We are happy. We are not hungry. We are not under the bridge begging for bread. And to top it all, you know, God, Christ Jesus came to this world. He is God personified. He came and he died for our sins. And recently we just celebrated Easter. He died for our sins. He took the burden of our sins. And then he... he he died for us. He took that burden. He paid for all the things. I mean, all the sins, even while we were yet in the world, while we were still sinners, he, he loved us. So on this note, let us thank God. Let us thank God for the salvation of our soul because that is paramount. That is even why we are here in the first place. And we even have the power and the privilege to be able to command the heaven and the earth to obey us. So brethren, let us thank God. Father, Lord, we thank you. We appreciate you. Ancient of days, we appreciate you. King of all flesh, we thank you. Daddy, Lord, we thank you. We honor you, Daddy. We give you all the glory. Thank you for dying for my sins. Thank you for lifting off the burden. Thank you for taking up my pain. Thank you, Lord, for taking away my shame. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for, for dying in place of me. Daddy, thank you for the salvation of my soul. Thank you for the grace that I can now call you Abba Father. Daddy, I appreciate you. We give you all the glory, most I can. Accept all praise. Accept all honor. Accept all adoration, most I king. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Father, Lord God Almighty, I yield myself to you. You said in your word that my tongue is the pen of a ready writer. Holy Spirit, put authority in my mouth. And even as we pray and declare tonight, let heavens open and let it be speedy. Response and answers to our prayers. In Jesus' name. We have prayed. Amen. Brethren, just before we go into prayer sessions, I just want to share um, a little like a word of exhortation with us and maybe shed a little more light. Um, you know, like the, the text that I read, that we read together in Ezekiel chapter one, verse one. We are in on today is the fifth day in the month of um, April, which happens to be about the same time that was recorded in Ezekiel. And it was when the Israelites were, um, I mean, they were at, um, on exile at the Kiba River, which is in Babylon. And that was where um, Ezekiel had his first vision of the Lord. So we're going to be praying tonight that God, even as we have come today, that God will reveal himself to us, even in our sleep, in the quiet of, you know, when we are in the quiet place, anywhere we are, that God in his mightiness and his awesomeness will reveal himself to us, that we will know the almightiness of God. We will come to understand who we are truly in Christ. Let us pray in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we pray according to your word in Ezekiel chapter 1 and verse 1. Daddy, today happens to be the fifth day in the month of April. Daddy, we pray, oh God, by mercy, that you will reveal yourself to us, that you will show us who we are in you, that we may be able to exercise the authority that you have deposited in us. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I happen to find out that uh, the river Kiba, um, it means that word Kiba, it means young and strong. And it happens also, like from the, the, the research that I did, that the river is a fertile river. Even though the Israelites were on exile, you know, at the river of um, the Kiba River in Babylon, they were fruitful and they flourished. And in essence, it relates with us wherever we may be. I mean, particularly those that are in the diaspora. We are in a foreign land, in a strange land. And we pray that in this land that we have, we happen to be reaching out to the world from River of Life. That is um, our CCG in Riverdale. So that God will make our land fertile. So we're going to be praying with that. That, oh Lord, even as I am in the land of America, anywhere we are in the world, Call upon that land, that God will make that land fertile. 
The Lord that made even Joseph prosper, even in a foreign land, that he became the prime minister. That Lord tonight, even as we have come to seek you, Lord, the land upon which I stand on, that it shall be a fertile ground for me. In the name of Jesus, even river of life church that I am worshiping in and I am connecting with online or any from any corner of the world that the lord you will make me enjoy you will allow me to enjoy the the, the fruitfulness of this land you will allow me to enjoy the fruitfulness in river of life let us pray in the name of jesus father lord god almighty even as we connect to you oh god from river of life rcc D church daddy we pray oh god the land upon which we stand daddy make it fatal in the name of jesus wherever we may be connecting all over the world that the lord the land on which we stand on the earth which we stand on we command it to be fatal and release its abundance to us in jesus mighty name we have prayed amen and then we will read also in job 38 12 to 14 he says that have you commanded you know the morning that means we have authority we belong to jesus he said in his word in um psalm 82 verse 6 he said ye know ye not that you are gods and all of you are children of the most high and if indeed we are the children of the Most High, that means we have authority in us. Because in the beginning, in Genesis, you know, the Spirit of the Lord hovered. Even when there was no form, the earth was void. It was, there was darkness. And God commanded, let there be light, and there was light. So when we come to the understanding that we are children of God, that means we have the DNA of God. And we have, by, by birthright, the ability to command the heavens and the earth, and they should obey us. But one thing I need us to do, even before we go into commanding the earth and the heaven to release this increase to us in the remainder of this year, you know that these um, entities, they know who they listen to. They don't just listen to anybody. The fact that we, I mean, are Christians and then we profess that we, we, are, that we, we, we pledge allegiance with Jesus. If you don't know who he is, if you don't have a personal relationship with him, if you command my brother, my sister, it may not, it may not work because they really know. I mean, they, they know who to obey. Even if you read in Psalm 24, verse 4, it says, when you said, um, um, open, I mean, let the, uh, let the, the, the gates open. And they were asking to the King of glory. They said, who is this King of glory? So these elements of creation, they know who they answer to. And we cannot say, I mean, if we don't, if we call ourselves Christians and we are not living a righteous life, he said in his word that we should put on the whole armor of Christ. We should put the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness. We should guard our loins with truth. We should shut our feet with the gospel of peace. Have we been diligent in doing this? Because that is only when we can actually command the heavens and the earth and they will listen and obey and they will not question who our God is. He said, I mean, if you, if you look at, he said, um, who, who, I mean, who can ascend? Who can ascend to the hill of the Lord? He said, he who has clean hands. That's Psalm 24, verse 4. He who has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity or sworn deceitfully. That is the person that can command the heavens and the earth to yield the same and they will yield. So in this note, we are going to go again to God and ask God for mercy. That in any way, that I have lifted up my soul unto vanity, in any way that I have been deceitful, that the Lord show me mercy. Oh, show me mercy. In the name of Jesus, brethren, let us begin to pray with a broken heart. He said, you know, a broken and a contrite heart, God will accept. So, Lord, we are praying. Holy Spirit, we are praying tonight that the Lord, in any way that I've lifted up my heart, my soul to vanity, in any way that I've acted deceitfully, in any way that I've done anything that is contrary, that will not allow the full manifestation of your power in my life, that the Lord, I command, that, I mean, I pray, oh God, but by mercy, that you will show me mercy, that he have mercy on me, cleanse me from all unrighteousness, that he cleanse me from all unrighteousness, oh God, reconcile me with you, Father, that he reconcile me with you, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that he have mercy on me, cleanse my heart, that he let my heart, my thoughts, let it be, let it align to your will, let it align to your purpose for my life, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen.
So we're going to be praying tonight. We're going to be saying, oh Lord, our heavenly father, father, Lord God almighty, king of glory, empower me, empower me and fill me with your power and authority tonight. In the name of Jesus, brethren, let us pray. According to the word of God in Psalm 18, verse 18, it says, oh God, that whatever we forbid on this earth, it will be forbidden in heaven. And whatever we, I mean, we decree, when we decree a thing, it will be established. So we're going to be praying that God, fill me with your power and authority so that when I command the heavens and the earth, they would listen, they will obey and yield their increase. Let us pray in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord God Almighty, eternal rock of ages, that if fill me with your power and deal me with power, give me authority tonight in the name of Jesus. That they fill me with your power in the name of Jesus. Let there be an activation of your power in my life. In in the name of Jesus, put authority in my mouth in the name of Jesus, that even as I command them, as I command the heavens and the head to get to work, they will get to work on my behalf in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. We are going to be praying, still praying tonight, that Lord Jesus, I decree that the heaven over me open and rain down your blessings upon me and my household, upon the church of River of Life. Let us pray in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, King of all flesh, that the Lord I decree, the heaven over me, open, open, open. A fata means be opened. So we are going to be decreeing. In the name of Jesus, I stand on the authority in the name of Jesus. For it is written that the name of Jesus, every knee must bow and every tongue must confess. I command in the name name of Jesus, the heavens over me, be opened in the name of Jesus. Rain down your blessings upon me, upon my family, upon your church river of life. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. And then we're going to be praying and saying, oh Lord, let the earth under my feet, let it yield this increase and abundance to me and my household and, and the church, your church in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, King of all flesh, that the Lord you said in your word that wherever the sole of my feet shall, shall stand on, I shall possess my possession. Father, Lord, I decree and I command the earth under my feet. I command you to be open, get to work on my behalf. Release your increase in the name of of Jesus. Release your increase to me, to my family, to your church in the name of Jesus. Whole heads, whole heads, hear the voice of the Lord. I come to you in the authority in the name of Jesus. Be opened in the name of Jesus. Who had be opened. Release your increase. Release your increase to me, to my family, to your church, that we may walk in dominion, in power, in the name of Jesus, that everywhere that we go to, wherever people see there is a casting down we go there and we are filled with song of upliftment in the name of Jesus oh head as I walk upon you no evil shall befall me no harm shall come near my dwelling in the name of Jesus in Jesus name we have prayed Amen. We can, um, the, the, there is, um, the, in the Bible, in the book of Revelations chapter 12, we will see that even when the enemy came against the woman to take, to kill her, to destroy her, to destroy her child, the earth opened up and swallowed the flood that the, the devil, you know, casted against the woman. So we are going to be commanding all oh, earth. That is whatever it is that the enemy, every evil harrow, whatever it is, every plan and plot of the an agenda, whatever standard the enemy has, you know, planned against me, against my family, against your church. Oh, at a light on my sake, get to work on my behalf. Open up and swallow them in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I command you, oh, head, whatever standard, whatever plan and plot of the wicked against me, against my family, against your church, against the propagation of the gospel of Christ on earth, that the Lord we command all heads, open up and swallow in the name of Jesus. Even as you help the woman in the book of Revelation chapter 12, help me, help my family. In Jesus' mighty name, 
we have prayed. Brethren, let us begin to thank God. Daddy, let us begin to appreciate him. Father, we thank you for answered prayers. We give you all the glory because you said whenever we call upon you, you will answer us. And those that trust in you will never be put to shame. We appreciate you because we have you as our father. Thank you, Father, for answered prayers. For in Jesus' matchless name, we have prayed. Amen. I hand over to Dickin Innocent. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Satulu, thank you so very much. That was a powerful, powerful session. We oh, bless God for that. More grace, more anointing in the mighty name of Jesus. Welcome to tonight's um, uh, vigil. Um, we give the Lord praise and glory for his goodness and his mercies. The fact that we are alive is enough reason for us to be excited, to feel lifted, encouraged. And the fact that we also have God on our side is more than enough for you to just, you know, jump up for joy every single time, every single day, every single second, regardless of what you're going through, because his promises to us, he always makes good. So long as we keep our own end of the bargain. Hallelujah. We bless the Lord. So we're talking about Ephata. Be open. We, we're, we're going to command the heavens and the earth to get to work on our behalf. And because the Lord, when we call on him, he answers, we know he'll answer us tonight. For as many as you of you, as, as many of you as believe that the Lord is here, the Lord is here to hear us, pray from the depth of your heart, and the heavens under which you operate shall indeed open up to you. Our lives will never be the same. Let us begin to start us start off by praising the Lord. Just thank him. The Bible declares in the book of First Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 16 and 18. 16 to 18. Just rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. In everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you, for us. To so always, no matter what you're going through, in the good times, in not so good times, he say, pray always. Rejoice. Give him thanks. So open up your mouth and say, God, thank you. Thank you for everything you can think of. Thank you for your family. Thank you for your job. Thank you for your pastor. Thank you for your church. Thank you for your ministry. Thank you for being alive. Thank you for provision. Thank you for, for providence. Just give him all praise and glory and honor because indeed, this our God is a good God. When we call on him, he answers. Many have died. Many are dying on, the, on, 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 a, on a second by second basis. But we are alive not because we are holy or because we are righteous. Because after all, our righteousness, the Bible says, is like a filthy rag before God. But the Lord's goodness, he, he has chosen us to be here at this point in time. Let's worship him. Give him all the praise and all the glory. Lord, every honor, Lord, we give unto you, Lord, because you are indeed a worthy God who does exceedingly much more than we can ask or imagine. Father, we bless your holy name. Lord, we exalt you, Lord. Lord, we exalt your holy name for great are the works of your hands. And there is none that we can compare to you. Not in the heavens, not here on earth, not beneath the earth, not in any planet, O oh Lord. You are the one and the one and only true God who does much more than we can possibly understand. Father, we worship you, we adore you. For in Jesus' name we pray. A lot of times as believers, we just uh, um, keep asking, asking God, give me, give me, do for me, do for me. But we don't spend enough time. You want to operate under open heavens? Because you trust this God to answer your prayers. Well, spend time thanking him. Spend time worshiping him. Spend time dancing before him. Spend time just giving him all the praise. So you're going to pray, praise God one more time and thank him. Thank God for what he is doing in River of Life. In spite of all we've gone through, the Lord has stayed strong with us. The Lord has kept us. And we know that soon, very soon, it shall come to an end. The struggles, the, the vain toilings, the Lord will bring it to an end. And we will indeed promise God this, this night and say, God, once this thing is done, Lord, we shall thank you more. Lord, we shall praise you more. Lord, we shall dance to exhaustion. Just open your mouth and just thank you for river of life. Because indeed, not many churches can survive the onslaught of the evil ones against a church. We have dealt with so much, but the Lord has shone through for us. The Lord has will continue to shine through for river of life. The Lord will continue to oil the head of Pastor DJ. The Lord will continue in his own power, 
and his almightiness continue to hold him up. And our heavens, the heavens under which river of life operates, shall be continually opened in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you. We bless you. We honor you, Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. In Ezekiel chapter 1, exactly a day like this, as Sita Tolu highlighted, on the 5th of April, on the 5th of the 4th month, the Lord opened the eyes of Ezekiel. He was The, the Israelites were in exile. What that means basically is no matter where you are, no matter what predicament you may be in, the Lord can open your eyes. The Lord can come through for you. Take, take examples of Joseph and Daniel in foreign lands. They prospered way more than even the locals. The Lord has brought us here for a reason. And the same God who brought us here will prosper us in the mighty name of Jesus. It says, now it came to pass, Ezekiel 1.1. 1, 1. In the 13th year, in the fourth month, on the fifth day of the month, as I was among the captives by the river of the river Cheba, that the heavens were opened and I saw visions of God. The heavens were open. We're going to take a prayer point from there. I said, Lord, no longer will I walk in darkness. My Lord, my God, let the heavens under which I operate open up to me. Let the heavens open up to my family. Let the heavens open up to the river of life. Say, Lord, open up the heavens. In the mighty name of Jesus, begin to praise. My Lord, my God, I pray, O oh Lord, you open up the heavens, O oh Lord. Lord, let us begin to operate on the open heavens. No more short heavens in the mighty name of Jesus. The earth itself yield your increase to us in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, I pray, you open our eyes to behold that which we need to do, that we may excel in the mighty name of Jesus, O oh Lord. My Lord, my God, that spirit of excellence, O oh Lord, that comes from a man operating on the open heavens. I receive for me, my family, my church, every member of River of Life in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, uh, the unction of greatness Lord, that comes um, from operating under open heavens. My Lord, my God, I receive it now for every man, every woman under the sound of my voice this night in the mighty name of Jesus. The glory that comes, oh Lord, um, from operating under open heavens. My Lord, my God, I receive it now. For every man, every woman, every boy, every girl, under the sound of my voice now, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, the, the, the prosperity that comes from operating under open heavens, I receive it now for, every, for everyone, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, I pray that no longer shall our heavens be shut in the mighty name of Jesus. No longer shall we operate under, under shut heavens. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name, we we'll pray. Amen. We're going to pray that we shall, I shall no longer walk in obscurity. That the Lord, in his almightiness, will pick me up, will lift me up from obscurity to prominence. In the mighty name of Jesus, begin to pray. Say, Lord, open up the heavens. Let the earth hear my voice this night that no longer shall I be in a, a, an obscure man, an obscure woman, who shall begin, who shall be lifted from obscurity to prominence in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, no longer shall our heavens be shut in the mighty name of Jesus. Every vain toiling, walking and not seeing the, 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 the fruits thereof. My Lord, my God, uh, we curse that in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we curse it in the mighty name of Jesus. No longer shall our toiling be in vain. In the mighty name of Jesus, we shall be fruitful. The earth shall yield its increase unto us. In the mighty name of Jesus, where others go and fail, we shall go and prosper. We shall go and excel. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Lord, my God, I, I speak to the earth uh, to yield this increase to us. Uh, Lord, I speak to the heavens uh, to open up to us perpetually in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, uh, every member of River of Life shall begin to enjoy a newness like never before. In the mighty name of Jesus, 
every member of River of Life, oh Lord, shall begin to, to see your hand like never before in the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In verse 3 of that same chapter, Ezekiel 1, verse 3. It says, the word of the Lord came expressly to Ezekiel the priest, the son of Buzi, in the land of the Chaldeans. And the hand of the Lord was upon him there. In verse 4, it says, Then I looked, and behold, a whirlwind was coming out of the north, a great cloud with raging fire engulfing itself, and brightness was all around it and radiating out of it like the color of amber. Out of the midst of the fire. Two prayer points here. First one is, Lord, let your mighty right hand of power rest upon me and my family. Let your mighty right hand of power rest upon my business. For those of you who are thinking about going into business, call it to life. Call it as though it were. Say, Lord, let your mighty right hand of power come upon my business. Let me begin to flourish like never before. Let me be like the tree planted by the rivers of water. That in season, out of season, I shall be fruitful. Open up your mouth and pray. Say, Lord, your mighty right hand of power. Let it rest upon every member of my household. Let it rest upon every mem mem member of River of Life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your mighty right hand of power, Lord. Let his blood rest upon us, Lord. In the name of Jesus. That we shall be completely excluded from calamities. Uh, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Because when your mighty right hand of power is upon any man, no evil can befall him. My Lord, my God, as we go in our going out and our coming in, Lord, your right hand of power shall be upon us, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, you are a shield and our buckler, Lord. And I declare that even in the face of pervasive evil, pervasive violence, my Lord, my God, it shall not come near me. It shall not come near any member of my household. It shall not come near any member of my family. It shall not come near any member of the river of life. It shall not come near my pastor and his family. In the mighty name of Jesus. Say, Lord, we bless you, Lord. We give you all the praise and all the glory. Your right hand, your mighty right hand of power, Lord, rests upon us all. In the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, nothing, nothing shall unclasp your hand from us. In the mighty name of Jesus, O Lord. Thank you, Father Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Lord, we say, God, make me an unstoppable force. As your right hand rests upon me, Lord, make me unstoppable. That wherever I go, shall bring about positive change. I shall speak of the beauty of the Lord's presence. I shall speak of the glory and the honor of Christ's resurrection. I shall speak boldly in the mighty name of Jesus. Make me an unstoppable force, Lord, that will not be shy to speak of the gospel to as many as are ready to listen in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, Lord, your power, your right, might, mighty right hand of power, let it rest upon me, Lord, and make me bold to declare that the Lord is indeed God and there is none like him in the heavens and on the earth. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we bless you. We honor you. For in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. We also pray for that mighty right hand of power. Because when the, when the door opens, the, then God's hand is upon you. In fact, the earth opens up to you. Everywhere you go, it opens up to you. You will say, Lord, that hand, that, that, let your power come upon me. That I may contend and defeat every man, every woman, every force that contends with me in the mighty name of Jesus. No longer shall you just walk and not see the fruits. No longer shall you just toil and toil in vain because the Lord is with you. You shall see him, you shall feel him, and you will know that this is indeed God in the mighty name of Jesus. That is our portion going forward from this day in the name of Jesus, oh Lord. We bless you, we honor you. All glory and honor to you for in Jesus Mighty name will pray. In verse 4, it says, And I looked, and behold, a whirlwind was coming out of the north. There's a significance here of wind. We talk about the east wind. When the east wind blows, it's a destructive wind. It blows to destroy. The south wind is more for peace and calm. Hey, but in the north wind, it unveils, it unravels. 
You see, a lot of times, if, if for those of you who, who, who know physics, you, you, when you see something resting in place, they say, oh, it's, it has potential energy. But that gets you nowhere. Until it becomes kinetic energy, nothing happens. So when the north wind blows, it blows and unravels your potential and brings it to bear. It unravels, it takes, it, it, it rends every veil that's covering you. He said, Lord, you're going to pray. He said, Lord, let the north wind blow and let it blow away every veil covering my destiny. He said, Lord, let the north wind blow and blow away everything that has held me bound. He said, Lord, let the north wind blow and cause me to prosper in every good thing in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, I pray that the north wind will blow. Lord, let it blow on my way, O Lord. Let it blow my way, O Lord. And unveil everything that has covered my destiny in the name of Jesus, O Lord. Let your north wind blow, O Lord. And Lord, and, 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 and release, unlock my potential in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let your north wind blow, O Lord, and cause me to prosper in every good thing to your praise and your glory in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we'll pray. Is he going to pray? That same way, say, Lord, let the whirlwind from the north, let it blow. The whirlwind from the north, let it blow. And blow away every shackle, everything that has held me bound, everything that has held me in place, everything that has stopped me from making any sort of progress. Say, let your whirlwind from the north blow and break every shackle. And cut me loose from everything that's held me bound in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, the whirlwind from the north, Lord, let it blow. Let, let it blow so strongly as to break every shackle, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. As to break everything that has held me, has held my family, has held my church bound in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the north wind, Lord, that whirlwind from the north, let it blow, oh Lord. Lord, and release every single one of us, Lord, from that position that we have been for too, far too long in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Let the north wind, the whirlwind from the north, let it blow, Lord, and cut us loose in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, and bring about deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. We thank you. We bless you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. See, that's the north wind, so let it blow. In my direction, let it blow in the direction of river of life, and let it cause us. Let it cause us to have freedom, absolute freedom. Let it blow away everything that has, uh, is stood as an obstacle. Say, Lord, the, let the north wind blow and blow away and blow into oblivion everything that stands in our path. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh Lord, let your north wind uh, blow with such force. Uh, and to destroy everything standing as a hindrance, as an obstacle on the path of river of life. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, let that north wind blow, Lord, and blow everything, Lord, that is hindering Pastor David E.J. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, let it blow and unlock every potential in him, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord. Let it blow, Lord, and blow him, Lord, from relative obscurity, Lord, to prominence. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, that even men, kings, men in high places will seek him. They will seek him, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, Lord, your north wind, Lord, that that that, that brings a big ab absolute clearance. Let it clear the path for your servant, Pastor David E.J. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, that we shall begin to operate, Lord, on the open heavens, Lord, to your praise and your glory. For in Jesus' mighty name. We pray. Amen. Job 38. Look at verse 1. That's by the whirlwind. He said, The Lord, the verse 1 says, Then the Lord answered Job out of the whirlwind. Out of the whirlwind. He answers there. You know, you, you, you are you are you are you are an answer yourself, but until that wind blows to unlock that potential, that thing that God has deposited in you. No one sees you as an answer. They might even see you as a problem. They may see you as a hindrance. They might see you as, as, as a degenerate. But when that wind blows and the Lord speaks to you and the Lord answers and the Lord hears you, everything changes. 
In that uh, um, Job 38, let me give you a little background what had happened up until that time. As you all probably all know, Job went through what I don't think any human being today can endure. Um, to go from being the richest man in the world to being one of the most devastated human beings on earth. It was quite a fall from grace, which brought about a lot of discourses between him, him and his friends. And they were talking about guilt or innocence, something you have done, maybe what you have not done. You know, you know how human beings get sometimes. To the point, it was so bad that even the wife, even the wife said, just curse this God and die. Now, to many, you might say, well, oh, that's not a believer. But she, she experienced what the husband went through firsthand. It was bad. It was desperately bad. But Job believed in his God unwaveringly. No, he caused the day he, he, was, he was born, but he refused to curse God. So what he endured, despite everything he endured, he stayed steadfast. It's a message to you and me, you and I, this, this night, that no matter what you're going through, no matter what you have to endure, trust in the Lord. Because we can't even, what they're going through is nothing compared to what Job went through. He scaled it and had an even better life afterwards. And if that same God could answer Job, he definitely can answer you and can answer me. And he will, because he's a good God. And he never fails. Now, have you gone to the point where you trust this God with all your heart? Do you see God as the almighty God? Do you know him, know him as the able God? Do you know him as the all in all? Do you know him as the be all and end all? Do you know him? Do you know him as the Elohim? Do you also know that this God is the reason why you are, you are very much alive today. If you know these things and you believe these things, you say the next few prayers with all your heart because God is here to hear you, is here to hear me. Hallelujah. But because we've made him so small, there's the psalmist who sang this song. He says, I made you so small in my heart. And that's the thing. We, we, we don't know this God as, as big as he is. In Job 38, despite all the discourses between Job and his friends, you would expect that God would come and answer the question about, oh, it's because you are guilty or you're innocent. No, 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 no. What did God do in 30, all of 38? What God said, God basically came and spoke about his own omnipotence, his own unlimited power. That's all he did. God spoke about his unlimited power and what he's able to do. He didn't have time to speak about, uh, oh, your kids are guilty or you're innocent. No, God doesn't owe you those explanations. He's too big to start explaining those little things to anyone. So this God we trust in, that tonight he will do something big for us. Amen? So I'm going to pray. I say, God, in your almightiness, oh Lord, make me an epitome of greatness. Say, Lord, Make me a pillar in the house of God. Say, Lord, make me a voice for the voiceless. Say, Lord, give me the grace to stand out and declare that you are God to the high heavens. In the mighty name of Jesus, begin to pray. Say, Lord, make me a voice. Make me a voice. Make me relevant in this last days in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, in your omnipotence, oh Lord, Father, make me a voice to the voiceless in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, I pray, oh Lord, make river of life a citadel of hope to the hopeless in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, make your servant, Pastor David E.J. and his wife, make them, oh Lord, pillars of support to those who have no backbone, in the mighty name of Jesus. So those whose support system is weak, say, Lord, elevate them to a point where they can speak and things will begin to happen. 
They will speak and legislate things on earth and begin to happen in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, I pray, Lord, for your servants and the wives. Lord, I pray, make them, Lord, make them pillars in your house to do exploits for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Lord, my God, I pray that we stand firm and stand tall. Lord, that we speak of your goodness. That we speak of your mightiness, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Lord, my God, no harm shall come to them or their children. No harm shall come to them, Lord. That we, that we stand tall in the mighty name of Jesus. If any man so much as conceive to do them evil, Lord, let calamity keep such people busy. In the mighty name of Jesus, if any man conceives not even tries to do and just conceives to do them any evil. My Lord, my God, keep them busy, Lord. With calamity after calamity in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, I pray that river of life, you will make a citadel of hope, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, we thank you. We we'll bless you, Lord. You are indeed an all-powerful God. We acknowledge you, Lord, as such. My Lord, my God, in any way we have limited you in our thoughts, uh, Lord, or in our, even our deeds, Lord, have mercy on us, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. As we begin to see you for who you truly are, oh Lord, uh, Lord, begin to elevate us, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Let us get to higher levels, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. We bless you, we honor you. All praise and glory to you. For in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. I'm going to pray. The Bible says in the book of 1 Chronicles 29, verses 11 to 13. Yours, O Lord, is the greatness, the power and the glory, the victory and the majesty for all that is in heaven and in earth is yours. Yours is the kingdom, O Lord, and you are exalted as head over all. Both riches and honor come from you and you reign over all. In your hand is power and might. In your hand, it is to make great, to give strength to all. Take your prayer points here. Say, Father Lord, victory on all sides is my portion. Say, victory on all sides. We are overcomers and we overcome by the blood and by the word of our testimony. Say, Lord, make me a victor. Indeed, a champion, indeed, in the mighty name of Jesus, that in any good thing that I pursue, Lord, indeed, make me the head. May it cause me to prosper in the mighty name of Jesus, my Lord, my God, because with you, all things consist, oh Lord. Lord, make every man, every woman under the sound of my voice, Lord, victor, indeed, in the mighty name of Jesus, we shall experience victory like never before. We shall prosper, even as our souls prosper, in the mighty name of Jesus. Victory on all sides. Wherever we go, we shall prosper. We shall be victorious indeed, in the mighty name of Jesus. Anywhere we go, the heavens will open up to us, and the earth will, will yield this increase to you, to me, in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, victory, O Lord. I speak victory to every man, every woman, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. He said, both riches and honor come from you, and you reign over all. The Lord caused me to experience wealth, to have wealth. He gives the power to, to, to get wealth. Say, Lord, that power, Lord, as you have unlocked the potential, the power to, to get wealth, Lord, or unleash unto every member of your of life. Unleash it upon us, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says uh, in 2 Corinthians 8, I believe, verse 9, as we know Christ, is a Christ, for you know Christ, though he was rich, but for your sake and my sake he became poor, that through his poverty, you and I may be rich. So we're going to pray, say, Lord, the power to create wealth, to get wealth, to live in wealth and receive now in the mighty name of Jesus. And also honor to be an honorable person wherever I go, that I will not compromise my faith for money or for wealth. I will stand the test of time. I begin to pray. Say, God, the grace, Lord, to make wealth 
and yet stand the test of time. Uh, to not be found wanting when weighed on the scale. Uh, Lord, that grace, uh, I receive it now in the name of Jesus, Lord. The grace to prosper and yet stay humble. I receive now for myself and every man, every woman under the sound of my voice in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, that we shall indeed be known, Lord, as successful people in everything we do. We shall be called a successor in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, I pray the Lord you will help us, Lord, to get to that next level, to get over the hump in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, the grace uh, to get to leap over the hump, Lord, we receive it now in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Oh, Lord, and it happens with speed uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, speed. Like the, the hidden feet, oh Lord, of a deer in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, that we shall prosper in every good thing uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. And it also health wise, oh Lord, uh, we will prosper and be in health, even as our souls prosper in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Any disease uh, that was not found in Jesus Christ will not be found in us in the mighty name of Jesus, oh Lord. We curse cancer. We curse, we curse diabetes, we curse high blood pressure. Lord, any disease that wasn't found in Christ Jesus will not be found in us. In the mighty name of Jesus, every chronic disease, hear ye the word of God. Go in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says, when, when Jesus Christ was to he said, it is finished. Lord, we say this day, it is finished to every pain, every suffering, every vain toiling. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, because indeed, we shall prosper in all things to your praise and your glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. It says, and in your hand is power and might. In your hand it is to make great and to give strength to all. Say, Lord, I receive strength. Oh, Lord, I receive strength to do exploits. I receive strength to prosper. I receive strength to be extraordinary. I receive strength to be a, a, a standout. In everything I do, I receive strength to go where others have failed and prosper. I receive the strength, uh, the unction in the mighty name of Jesus. It is in his hand uh, to make great. Lord, make me great, oh Lord. Lord, Lord, give the grace to hear you and to walk in that path that leads to greatness, oh Lord. Uh, I receive for myself and, and for every man, every woman hearing my voice this night in the mighty name of Jesus, oh Lord. That we shall hear you clearly. Lord, that said, and you tell us which way to go, and we shall go in that direction, and we shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Like Abraham heard you and obliged you, and he prospered, Lord. Lord, we shall hear you, we shall oblige you, we shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. And when the enemies shall come, because surely they will come, but when the enemy shall come like a flood, Lord, Lord, you will lift up a standard against the enemies in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. When the enemy comes like a flood, Lord, my Lord, my God, Lord, they will drown even in their own flood in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Lord, we shall prosper. We shall pro no, no, he nothing will stop us, Lord. We are unstoppable, Lord. We are unkillable, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Death has nothing on us, Lord. My Lord, my God, none of us will die before our time in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. And anything, Lord, that will war against us, Operating on the open heavens, Lord, will bring them to subjection in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. The Lord will bring them to absolute subjection in the mighty name of Jesus. No longer shall we walk on the short heavens, Lord. Our heavens, I declare, are open, Lord, forever in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. We thank you. We bless you. We honor you, Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Just Thank God for how far he's brought you. Don't look at the situation. Just thank him that he's brought you this far, that he's kept you alive. Just thank him. The, the, the one thing that we owe God is thanksgiving. You, I can't get enough of it. I can't give it. You can't possibly give enough thanks to God. Just thank him for the grace he's, he's bestowed upon us. Thank him for, 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 for life. Thank him for providence. Thank him for provision. From the depth of your hearts, I say, God, I acknowledge you that without you, I am nothing. Lord, indeed, I know without you, I am nothing. So thank you, Lord, that you made me a someone. I will thank you, Lord, because I know you make me yet even greater. I thank you, Lord, because you make every man, 
every woman in river of life even yet greater in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Lord, we make this deposit of thanksgiving. And Lord, I, and I pray, Lord, we will never stop giving you thanks. Um, wholehearted thanks, Lord, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Heartfelt uh, oh, thanks, Lord. Um, heartfelt thanks, Lord. We never depart, Lord, from our hearts uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, I thank you for river of life, Lord. Thank you because indeed, the church has gone through a lot, but Lord, you've kept us. We are still standing. And Lord, we shall start to run. Lord, soon we shall start to run, O oh Lord. Um, we shall start to run, O oh Lord. Um, Lord, indeed, we are running now, O oh Lord. We are running now. We are running, O oh Lord. Um, in the mighty name of Jesus. Running to do great things, O oh Lord, in the community. Running to do, do, do think, great things for you, O oh Lord. Um, in the mighty name of Jesus, O oh Lord. We are running towards you, O oh Lord. Um, never shall we run away from you, O oh Lord. We shall run towards you, O oh Lord. Um, in the mighty name of Jesus, O oh Lord. River of life as a church. Um, Lord, we will be compelled uh, to draw nigh unto you, Lord, uh, and you will draw nigh unto us. Lord, uh, at every turn, uh, we shall experience your, uh, your hand uh, over us, over us as a church, uh, as individuals, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. We bless you. We honor you. We give you praise. Uh, we give you glory. We say there is none like you, and none will ever be like you. Finally say, Lord, this night, as the heavens over me are open, Lord, nothing will ever shut my heavens again. Personalize that nothing will ever shut my heavens again. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, my Lord, my God, open heaven, so Lord, uh, to, to experience you on, on, on a regular basis, so Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Earth, hear us this night. Uh, yield your increase to us in the mighty name of Jesus. Heaven, I declare, you shall forever be open to us in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord. We bless you. We honor you. We say there is none like you. None can be likened to you. Lord, you are God all by yourself, Lord. We thank you. We praise you. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Father, we thank you. We honor you. We thank you for the grace, O oh Lord, to be alive. We thank you, Lord, for you have counted us worthy, Lord, to see even this day. We thank you, Lord, because we know we shall see even the end of the year. We thank you, Lord, for this night. Indeed, the heavens are open to us and they will stay open. My Lord, my God, we thank you. Who can we, we liken to you? Who is like unto thee, O Lord? There is none, not in the heavens, not on earth, not beneath the earth, O Lord, not on any planet. You are the one sublime, supreme God who does exceedingly much more than we ask or imagine. My Lord, my God, how can we praise you? What words can we say that will be fitting for the things you've done? My Lord, my God, we thank you. We honor you, Lord. Silver and gold have we not to offer. Not even everything we have combined, put together, does not even scratch the surface to say thank you. Lord, Lord, all grace, all honor, all power, adoration, dominion, be ascribed to you and you alone in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, because we know, oh Lord, that our lives will never be the same, O Lord. We thank you, O Lord, because we know, O Lord, a divine compulsion, O Lord, that we shall be propelled forward, forward and forward, O Lord. We shall never regress, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. By divine compulsion, O Lord, that we will never taste defeat. By divine compulsion, O Lord, we shall be forever victorious in the mighty name of Jesus, O Lord. We shall be champions forever to your praise and your glory, O Lord. That we shall forever overcome, O Lord. And our testimonies, our joy in serving you, Lord, shall be in full to your praise and your glory in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Thank you for River of Life. Thank you for Pastor David E.J. Thank you for how far you've brought him. All praise and glory to you, Lord. Be magnified, Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Let's, um, with the following announcements, um, the uh, Mothers Connect is every Saturday. Mothers Connect tomorrow uh, via Zoom for mothers and would-be mothers. And join the prayer line. Join the Zoom meeting. Um, is The number is 979-029. That's the meeting ID. 979-029-8065. Um, and the password is intercede. Now, for those who want prayers, there's 24-7 prayer. You can drop a prayer request. Uh, by dialing number 
2183. You can also do it by email at river, river of life uh, prayer hub at gmail.com. House fellowship, it holds on uh, via Zoom every uh, except every first Sunday of the month. So every Sunday, except the first Sunday of the month, there's house fellowship. You can join. The meeting ID is 979-029-8065. And the password is intercede. The Lord bless you as you join in the mighty name of Jesus. And Faith Clinic, our Faith Clinic is every Thursday from 7 to 8 p.m. From 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Um, you can call the number 301-779-4605 or 240-398-6946 for more information. And you can join us on Instagram at RCCG River of Life. Instagram, RCCG River of Life. And on Sunday, we have our, our Sunday worship. Uh, we start by 9 a.m. The Lord bless you as you join. Thank you so much this for joining us tonight. And also, if you want to give, for those who want to give, there are so many ways we can give. You can give through uh, Zelle. Uh, the, the phone, phone number there is 240-398-6946. Um, through Cash App, the same phone number. PayPal uh, is an option. PayPal.me slash RCCG River of Life MD. Or you can text your number. For those who have uh, their, their, their numbers, you can text to 301-691. 3800 or pay via our website at rccg www.rccgriveroflife.org slash giving or by check or money order. Lord bless you as you give in the mighty name of Jesus. So thank you for this wonderful night. I, I, I pray that your heavens will never, ever be shut again. And the rain of abundance you shall experience regularly and shall be a blessing and a testimony and a testament of the Lord's goodness. For in Jesus' mighty name, have decreed. Amen. God bless you.